I'm interested in this one cast software which gonna stream Xbox on this MacBook Pro. So I have a MacBook Pro M1 here. Basically, we don't have an Xbox app for the MacBook. So this is the option if you wanna stream Xbox games here. So I'm gonna download this software and I'm gonna try if I can really emulate xbox games and you know how is the performance and so on right so i have already downloaded this app here i'm gonna install it okay it's gonna it's telling me to okay i have a message right i'm gonna open it there is an instruction on how to get started with one cast which is what i'm gonna go to the xbox in the hall i'm gonna show this settings in my xbox and see everything is ready in terms of streaming the xbox is connected to this tv and quickly looking at the settings under devices and connection remote features ensure that enable remote features is checked in right so i'm gonna test the remote play so this is going to take a while. We have the results here. You know, there are some warning messages which says that NAT type needs to be open and you know, this will not work outside your home network. Similarly with the latency, it is more than 150 MS. So again, this will affect only if I try to play outside the home network. So apart from that, everything else is fine because I'm going to play inside my home network. And since this TV is in the hall, I'm going to play from my MacBook, which is in the other room. Hopefully that should be fine. So I'm going to close this and I'm going back to my MacBook to configure the one cast setup. All right. Okay. I have logged in with my Microsoft account, which I use it for Xbox. So basically what I'm seeing here is that it's registering. Great, so I have a message which says, Xbox is now registered, click on continue. Okay, great, uh, this is my Xbox, which is over here and I'm gonna click on connect. Perfect, you can see I'm able to stream my Xbox here. So before I go ahead and you know navigate, I need to connect this Xbox controller to my Mac. So here I am in my Bluetooth settings. So I can see my Xbox here. All right, so here we go. It says nearby devices, Xbox controller. I'm gonna hit connect. My Xbox wireless controller is connected. I'm gonna go back to my game. Awesome. I'm able to navigate and I don't see any, you know, latency. It's really good. Um, the one thing what I notice here is that there is this black bar on the top and as well as on the bottom. So basically the screen real estate what you get here is so much. So for some, this may be a concern, but whereas for others, it's fine. By the way, another important thing is that both the MacBook and your Xbox should be connected to the same 5G wireless network. So we're going to play a game and check how is the performance. So I'm going to start with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And now I can really see the performance is good and I don't see any latency at all. And it appears that I'm directly playing on the console, which is connected directly to the you know display. So basically it all depends on your network.
Right. I'm gonna check another game. Watch dogs. It's pretty impressive. The gameplay is way too smooth. The latency is again very very minimal. It's almost nil I would say. You know this software is really wonderful for Mac users if you want to stream Xbox on your MacBook. The only thing which I didn't like is the aspect ratio because you get this black bars on the top and bottom of the screen. As I mentioned earlier it's fine with some users or some it's you know they're not comfortable with it because uh, everyone likes to utilize the you know complete screen while playing the game Hopefully. and fortunately for macbook they are providing this 14 day trial version you can install it and check out how it's working for you and in my experience this is working fine and i'm looking forward to purchase the software so it totally depends on you i hope this video was informative if you have any questions please mention in the comment section below as always please hit the subscribe button and like my video thanks for watching peace